Welcome everyone to Juno Sweet Just Commentary. So I'm still eating and I've got another video request and this one is fun with flag 21 Thailand flag. Of course, thank you so very much for requesting. I would love to it look like they're gonna talk about the flag. I'm seeing the screen right there and a guy for pen or something. So I would like to know the history of how the flag um came into existence or what does the flag mean. Um this is actually my country's flag, this one right here, the colorful one that is our flag. Um so I'm gonna learn, I guess, some history or some information in regards to Thailand flag. That'll be great. Thank you so very much for requesting. Subscribe, subscribe to Juno Switch Just Commentary. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to a video. Leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. Today's video is sponsored by Canada Flags. On their website, you can get hundreds of high quality flags at an incredible low price with free shipping in the US. I wonder, I wonder you can they also have my customized flag, flag there. with any design you want both single or double sided. They Why provide would you want to outstanding a flag? customer service to all clients. So click the link in the description if you want to find out more. Okay. Thailand, a country in Asia, officially a kingdom, it has 76 provinces with over 68 million people. Its capital is Bangkok and it's bordered by Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, and right Asia. Now. It's a kingdom well, it's and it's one of the world's oldest continuous monarchies. But we're not here to talk about Thailand as a country. We're here to no. talk about their the flag. flag. Uh -huh. So let's take a look at the history and meaning of the Thailand flag. Now, Thailand used to have a different name until not long ago. Before, the region was known as Siam. And this Siam. is where the first official state flags become present in the region. The first official flag of Thailand, at the time Siam, is this plain red this flag. One? It what? was used from 1700 to wow. around 1790, even though it was sort of used as a civil ensign until 1855 as well. This was the flag of the Ayutthaya and Thornbury ah, periods, wow. two kingdoms which took place one after the other in Siam at the time. It is said that before this time, there was no national flag and that the reason for its creation was that a French ship which docked in Siam was waiting for Siamese officials to fly a national flag. Since there was no flag, the officials flew a piece of red fabric oh. and this was later adopted as the official state ensign. But this flag was a little too simple and hmm. too general for usage in diplomatic events, so uh -huh. a change was required. It was precisely in 1782 that what? the flag gained a new element. From 1782 cool. to 1817, King Rama I declared that the state King and the the ensign should be the same red field, but with a white chakra in its center, probably to represent the Shakri dynasty which he was a part of. It could also be present to symbolize the Buddhist religion. Later on, from 1817 to 1843, another king, Rama II, added a white elephant in the center of the chakra, probably to represent the animals themselves, which really? I believe were fairly common in the region yeah. at the time, but it had also been what is Thailand a national animal by the for way? some time. And then another king, the Rama IV, removed the chakra and made the elephant significantly bigger, creating wow. this flag in 1843. In 1893, 50 years later, there was a small alteration. A few details were added to the elephant, like some types of clothing and... That's a lot of changes for the flag. But the civil ensign remained the simple elephant, with the more elaborate version only being used as a state and naval flag by orders of Rama VI. There were also versions of the flag where the elephant changed its orientation, either facing the pole or away from it. The same king then apparently got tired of the elephant and decided to change the national flag to a five red and white striped horizontal flag. That is a big change. That is a big change. The reason for the choice of five horizontal stripes is something I couldn't find, but flags across the world tend to be striped so it could just be because of that. Apparently, there was, however, a sea merchant flag used by Thailand before this, from 1910 to 1917, which was alternating red and white five stripes, but these stripes were equally wide, which doesn't happen with the current one. 
The change from the elephant flag to the striped flag is said to have happened after a great flood in 1960. We had a great flood in my country Siam too. In 1916, the there was a massive flood in my community. To and decided to create a new flag solving the issue of the flag being flown upside down. Since this new flag is horizontally symmetric, it wouldn't matter which way you fly it. Oh! And this was the red and white That's flag. That's good. The addition of the blue took place during World War I, in which Thailand, at the time still Siam, participated at the side of the Antalya, Britain, France, etc. A curious fact is that Siam was the only country in Southeast Asia which maintained full independence from European powers at the time, and wow. it entered the conflict on its own free will as oh. an equal of European powers. But the choice of the colors apparently has to do with those being the colors used by a lot of their allies in the First World War. France, what? Britain, Serbia, Russia, and the US. The blue color is also associated with the influence wow. of the king, so this might have been one of the other reasons for the change. This flag turned 100 years old last year, being one of the world's continuous and unchanged flags. Some people say that the change of the flag has to do with the change of the name from Siam to Thailand, but this doesn't seem to be true. Hmm. The flag change happened in 1916-17, while the name change only happened in 1939, wow. being related to the rise of fascism in the region, World War II, and the country's alliance with Japan. In fact, an oh, official Varian flag. I've got a video to request, today react is to this guys to the world the red, white, and blue five-striped flag with the same adorned wow. elephant in a red circle in its center, mostly used for naval purposes these days. So this is the flag of Thailand, known as the Tong Tri Rong, which I'm for sure not pronouncing properly, but I don't speak Thai. It translates to the tricolor flag. The blue represents the monarchy or the king as well as the country's position during World War I. Wow. The white represents religion, Buddhism for most of the population, and the red represents the nation and the people of Thailand. That is amazing. These two colors, red and white, have also been historical colors of Siam and Thailand throughout its ah, history. Try color flag, free, flag. try, triple. Like I mentioned, one of the country's naval ensigns still uses the elephant in its center. And another example of this are the country's diplomatic flags. The ambassador's standard uses the adorned elephant in the center of the five striped what? tricolor flag. There's while another? The consular flag does the same, but with the simple elephant in its center. And this opens a gigantic <coughs> list of other flags which are used in Thailand. To this from date. A wide array of royal standards, personal royal flags, Thai government flags military, police, and naval flags, and a religious flag with the Dharma Chakra. And there's wow. also individual flags for the 76 provinces of Thailand, which all have specific symbols representing their local history and culture. On the like flag? the flag of Ang Tong, the flag of Krabi, the flag of Lohe, Whoa. the flag of Patani. I Among never knew that! others, which I won't get into because it will take a very long time to describe, and there's also one other flag in the world which looks very similar to the Thailand flag. And that's the flag of Costa Rica in Central America. With the same five stripes, but with the red and blue inverted, as well as using different tones and a coat of arms in the center. Wow. So that was a brief history of the Siam slash Thailand flag. Shh. And a wow. brief overlook at its moon <gasps> throughout time. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, Try. make sure to subscribe to catch future videos. And if you notice any mistakes or have any additional information, be sure to leave a comment below so we can Whoa. all learn a little bit more about this awesome That flag. was a good video. Check out Anley Flag's website and Facebook page in the video description and get yourself a flag to represent your country. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you next time with another video. That was a great video presentation there. Try call a flag. That is amazing. Never knew that ele the elephant w is actually used sometime on the Thai flag for different events. I've only thought that there was a one Thai flag. I must admit for the um, Navy, I did notice the, the Navy Royal sign, but I never knew they actually have a flag specifically for that. 
I'm of course thank you for requesting this video. I'm of course it's always great to learn new th learn. It's always great to learn new things about Thailand, and this helps me to understand Thailand better. And you, my Thai subscribers and also um, fans, I really mo do appreciate this request, and I do hope indeed that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it and learned from it. And I hope indeed that you guys will continue to make requests, especially about Thailand, so I could learn more about Thailand. Other than that guys, thank you so very much for subscribing, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to the video, leave a comment below, okay? Thank you so very much. Bye guys!